and rocks. From East Tilbury in Essex, and number six seed, Spawn again. Number six seeds fighting in their fifth wars. Is this the same machine that you have had in previous wars? Uh, it's basically the same design, but it's all new internally now, so it's sort of new electronics, new batteries, new weapons, new weapon control, new mixer, so... Um, but yeah, basically everything's new and hopefully it will work. Luke, have you got any tricks up your sleeve for people that are fighting you? People are going to need an arena re-entry device from now on because that's the only place people are going, is outside the arena. Torque, four-wheel driven aluminium chassis, composite body, a massive 1,000 PSI CO2 flipper, and they've never failed to make a series semi-final. From Prestatic in Wales, Chip. Fought in the New Blood Championship for hopefuls. Didn't last long, though. So what have you got on this machine, then? What is your, what's going to cause damage to the other robots? This disc here. Show me it. And that spins. Yeah, and that lodges robot's head and smashes it. Nice one. What's your biggest fear? Getting flipped out of the arena yeah. by, by spawn again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can work upside down, but obviously if we get flipped out, we're gone. A fully polycarbonate armoured robot with a horizontal disc at the front spinning at 1500 RPM. It does work both ways up, but it's a fairly untried design and it's been unreliable in testing too. From St. Martinsburg in the Netherlands, Nita Machine. Once a heat finalist in Dutch Robot Wars, new to the UK Championship. Boys, what have you got to give us in the Seventh Wars? What we've got is a pickaxe. It's nice and sharp. It's fast. We can lift 100 kilograms and uh, some nice horns. The horns aren't exactly going to help that much, though. In... Yes, but it helps us. Two electric motors, two cylinder CO2 system for the axe, lift and shremek. But the wheels are exposed, guys, huh? From Belfrofton in Worcestershire, revenge of trouble and strife. Back for a third series, never out of the heats, though. So what revenge tools do you have at destruction? Well, we have, we have two tools here. We have a disc, which is the outside body of the robot, which spins around, driven by a petrol engine. Oh, petrol engine. A petrol engine, yeah. A bit unreliable, but when it's going, it's pretty formidable. And we also have a flipper, which is the front bit, which is run straight off the gas tank, so a high-pressure flipper. And petrol that's, uh, engines flips. can be unreliable, they can, can't yeah. they? And can't they blow up when there's fire around? Well, if, you, if you're careful, you can, you know, probably be safe. But there is a risk of massive combustion here. A CO2 flipper, a 25 kilo rotating body spinning at 500 RPM, but the petrol engine slightly combustible. That's an understatement. Roboteers, stand by. So, to Revenge of Trouble and Strife, they're on the left, the Fawzi family spawn again. Darren Hayden Ball, Luke Jackman on the right. Chip on the left hand side, captained by Rob Jones and those guys from Holland and the meter machine. And there in the arena for the house robots is Mr. Psycho. And Three, dead metal too. Two, one, what a fancy spawn again here because of the record. And immediately out of the arena floor, you just heard a, a horn, the horn on meter machine. They're a good team, fun team from Holland, from St. Martinsburg, Nita machine. And there with a the snow plow front as well, and the axe comes down, spawn again, dodges, and seems to think Chip is the weakest. Oh, goodness me, yes it was. They've had their chips. They're out. What an attack there by spawn again. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Oh, and look at the front there. Need the machine's axe went as well. On Revenge of Trouble and Strife's play, we're seeing again Chip's exit from the arena. They didn't last long, did they? Rob Jones and young Gareth, his son, and Tom Ross. But Revenge of Trouble and Strife 
Very quietly, Rick needs a machine speed, I think, as well. And now Revenge is toppled by Spawn again, which has been going about its business. Can Revenge of Trouble and Strife self right there? Peter Forsey and Sons Jake and Sam. Oh, this is the power of Spawn again. CO2 flipper out there. Revenge of Trouble and Strife, 93 kilos. Wrights comes down, has to get away from Spawn again, Splipper. Where's Nita Machine? In the arena center, and the ref bot's having a look, and I think they're going to be counted out. Which means Spawn again could well be causing damage to Revenge of Trouble and Strife for later on in the contest. Because I don't think those Dutch boys, Arthur van Ol, Al Albert Bloomers, and Hutter van der Ender are going to be around much longer, do you? Need a machine counted out. It was the spinning disc of revenge of trouble and strife that did all the damage, and now they're in trouble themselves. Self riding once again. They need to stay out of trouble. In comes Mr. Psycho onto Nita Machine. Revenge of trouble and strife. Hoisted spawn again. Looks well on the way to another series semi-final, unless something special happens in this heat to stop it. Ooh, they nearly back then onto the house robot. Dead Metal and Mr. Psycho making mincemeat of Nita Machine. Revenge of Trouble and Strife. Stopped. There on the floor flip. Nita Machine. Didn't really get off the ground. Oh, oh. Well, it's ruined everything. I'll get the floor flipping and flipping again now. Go on, nudge it out. What's that? Oh, now Dead Metal's got caught underneath. You're ruining my fun here. That's better. Oh, no, is it? What's happened to the floor flipper? It doesn't look right to me. Need a machine. Bottoms up. Pressurised by the two house robots. Ooh. Towards the pit. Big machine. Wonder if it'll go down there. Just about. <laughs> Mr. Psycho nearly followed him in. The end of Nita Machine. Six. What a battle. What a battle. Chip gets chopped. And it all goes messy for Nita Machine. That means spawn again and revenge of trouble and strife. They go marching on!